Hello, I'm Julius, and this video will go over secondary user verification for smart home. We suggest that you understand smart home intents and devices and traits to better understand this video. Secondary user verification, SUV for short, adds an extra layer of security for devices. The three types and when to implement them are listed on the developer page per trait and command. An example requirement is pin needed when a user is trying to unlock or open an entryway which affects the overall security of the device. Here's a request and response of an utterance that implements pin needed challenge. By returning the challenge needed error code, Google Assistant will ask the user for their pin. Google Assistant will then pass the user's response for the developer to validate. If correct, the developer can execute the user request and use follow response to properly let the user know that the original request was successful or unsuccessful. If the pin is incorrect, the developer can return challenge failed pin needed or too many failed attempts, which will direct the user to go to the developer's app to complete the request. Secondary user verification can be used to trade commands that developers may not want running when the user is not present, like filling up a bathtub. A simple acknowledgement can be used to make sure the tub is needed to be filled. The user can reply with yes or no. If no, return error code user canceled and Google Assistant will respond with OK. This has been secondary user verification for the Smart Home API. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.